Hey guys, welcome to Tavern Keeper. This is an upcoming tavern management style game and I am super excited to check this out. I was very, very fortunate to be given an early access to the demo so we can play it here together on the channel. It just looks so cute. I love the music in the background. <laughs> we have a bunch of little guys singing along it's just adorable if you like what we're about to play together make sure you add this game to your wish list so you get notified when it comes out i think we're ready to jump in let's manage our tavern welcome to halflington picturesque eh you must be here to audition for the protagonist role yes very well we'll see <laughs> if you're up for it why don't you take a look around yes i believe i will Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. We have a little kitchen. Nothing cooking yet. I do love a tavern, don't you? Yes. So cozy. Yes. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. Okay. Not to get too technical, but can you point out a table? <laughs> I'll let you know if you're off track. Um, I want to click on the wrong thing. Just to mess about. What is that? Is that like a little hobbit burrow? That's decorative. Patrons adore ambiance. They do. What else can I click on that's wrong? You found a bed. Please, <laughs> no napping. We have lots to do. Try again. You're getting warmer. <laughs> no? Stumped? That's a concerning start, but let's move on. <laughs> that this is next so funny. one will be a bit trickier. <laughs> Can you point out a patron? That's what I call customers. I just like how fancy it sounds. Oh, should I be naughty again and be cheeky? Oh, look at that. You can design your tavern as you please when you're the tavern keeper. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I better do the right thing. I'm feeling a bit, a bit naughty. I think you're a patron. Correct. Yay. Though in the future, you might refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. That's true. Where That's are they going? Objects and people handled. Shall oh. we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? The bathroom. Well, can you locate the storeroom? I found the bathroom. <laughs> That's the toilet. They're just scrubbing at it with a a mop. Oh, oh, they they're using. Oh, there's a newspaper in the way for privacy. Darn it. Okay, the storeroom. Okay, I'm gonna do this properly. Couldn't find the room with all the food and drinks in it. Lost some points. There. I, I was looking. Is it this one? Oh dear. Oh, no. Is that an adventurer headed this way? Always a handful, heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? No, oh, he looks fussy, After doesn't all, he? Interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the book above his head. Okay. It had to give me extra instructions of how to find the guy. Yeah, cool. Oh. As you move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, Why? rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. Right. Cut it out. Stop chopping the bar. <laughs> he frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Never mind. I don't have time to educate the help. Whoa. I have an epic journey to begin. And those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Hello? That would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? I don't know if I really like this fellow, to be honest. Actually, I'll be the main character of this story. Sorry. <laughs> you? Impossible. You're a tavern keeper. You don't even have a sword. Watch this. He yanks his blade out of the bar and takes a few swings. Hiya! Have at thee! He chops a tankard in half, breathing heavily. What? You see? This is real main character stuff I'm showing you. That's and my you item! Apron? That's all wrong. What kind of story would the bards write about you? Get out! You're damaging my property! 
Not impressed. Tankards can't even fight back. No? Well, what about... See, I don't know, whoever this is. He gestures at the nearest patron. What? This guy could be a bandit or something. That would be pretty heroic. Watch and learn, Tavern Keeper. He's a murderer. He draws his sword and leaps. The patron quaffs the last of his drink and bashes the adventurer in the <gasps> nose with the tankard. The ball oh. spills out into the taproom. Oh, no. Oh, adventure! I've started a brawl already. Oh, I don't like that guy. Leave. Get out. Not an ideal result. I'll send you the medical bills. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. Oh, my gosh. Click on the prompt to the right when you're ready. Oh, my did you just see that? My poor worker. <laughs> that guy has to come along and repair the bar. Whoa, are you okay? That was a failure. <laughs> Building relationships. I think we need some training in that. That was bad. Whoops. Welcome to the swamp. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Halflington Tavern. <laughs> I hope you like mud. Yeah. First things first, it's time to teach you oh. how to teach yourself. Is this Hovering your my cursor tavern? over things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? I liked the other tavern. Oh no. Whoa. Onwards, the tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece the tap. Right. <laughs> You'll need one to serve drinks. Build one wherever you like. Oh, I really like the other tavern. This one is not very nice. Okay, so we need a tap room. The tap. Oh, that looks like a, a decent spot. It's that easy. Looks good. Ready to hire your first staffer? Yes, absolutely. Let's get... Ooh! Vela Rani. Thinking about orcs makes them laugh. That might not be great if we get an orc in as a customer. They may not be pleased. Ooh! Bulfim. Fighting oozes. Spends their spare time avoiding doing work. Oh, I don't think so. Diana. Hmm. Fired from the lost cow for impersonating the elderly. <laughs> Hates droopy candles. You know, that's not too bad. They share tips with the needy. He looks very greedy, doesn't he? He likes to eat. Mm. This lovely lady has very good qualities. Probably the best one here. So, oh, she is mm. more expensive. Okay, let's take her. Diana, really? welcome. Based on those qualifications, <laughs> are they a friend of yours? She was the best, thank Never mind. you. It's time to buy drinks. The traveling merchant will be here momentarily. Click on him when he arrives. Okay. Oh, the merchant has arrived. Oh, well, I don't really have a lot of money. Let's just get a couple of things. I'm avoiding all the terrible, terrible stuff. Let's get that. Excited to tap that barrel? Select the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it. Alrighty. Select drink. Um, how about we go for the druid's foot? There we go. Oh, that looks cute. I like that. Have staff install the barrel. Is that what she's doing yeah refilling the tap oh my stock is just kept out there on the dock i need a storeroom that's not very good uh, and he's the merchant yes thank you very much do you just live here i guess well enjoy living in the swamps she's a little bit slow there we go. Oh. That does it for basic necessities. I think you're ready to open for business. Yes. Unlock those doors. Unlock. Yay! Our tavern. Tavern named the Rotten Stump? Oh, no. That's not good enough. 
The cat's whiskers. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> it's smooth sailing from here. Wait for a patron and your staffer will do the work. Oh, right. So they do everything. What do I do? Maybe just buy stuff from the merchant. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, we've got customers. We've got three customers. Diana, where are you? Hurry up. She's so slow. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Audra, oh. message runner. Oh, I like this. You can actually click on everybody. Oh, this is so wonderful. We've sold our first drink. Dead simple, see? Now, let me show you how to make your Diana, tavern Diana, what are you cozy. doing? Why Decorating you... your tavern truly makes it your own. Diana, there's someone waiting. Take this table, for example. Go. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. Yes. You might decorate it with something simple. Ooh. Perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? You can change and tweak every element according oh, to your Oh, that's mood. so pretty. Ooh, feeling romantic. And you needn't stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine, piece by piece. Go wild! What? How much is For this? For now, let's try something <laughs> simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. Yes, I don't have You'll much have money, dude. You'll have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. Hundreds of options? What? 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 There's got to be cats in here. There has to be cats. So it's only letting us choose from three items at the moment. But we can put our little owl here. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Let's put our little owl down. That's an interesting choice. Well, there's no accounting for taste. What's wrong That's with it? That's enough decorating for now. No, I want to do more. You know, I think <laughs> I've found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Yes, please. Go on. Run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star. Oh, this is so wonderful. Uh-oh. Diana seems a little bit busy, to be honest. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, Valerie. She's talking about getting married, I think. Can I hire somebody else? Yep. Yeah. Let's hire someone else. Just to make things a little bit quicker. Because we're struggling quite a little bit here. Can I decorate? Oh, that's good. Let's put the plates down. We'll get two plates and a bottle. I am going to spend so much of my money on decorating. Oh no, oh no. That looks really nice though. I like that a lot. You can add some more things up here. A leaf? That actually looks really cute. I like that too and it's really cheap. It's not very expensive. Ooh, oh. Look at that. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop with the decorating. <laughs> I'm gonna have no money left. We do have a few things to do, so read the local gazette. Oh, there it is. Hear ye, hear ye, the Bayou Chronicle. Dark Lord steps down. A mere year after gathering a legion of the dead and conquering the realm, the Dark Lord has decided to give it all back. Ruling things is actually really boring, he admitted. That's our newspaper. <laughs> oh, place a dartboard. Oh. Well, I can see a storeroom actually. What if we build our storeroom? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. A pallet. Oh, I think I've spent way too much money. <laughs> this is not good. I'll put down three pallets. Oh, they need the toilet. Oh, oh. Oh, there. We definitely need that. 
we'll put it over there because it's, it's probably going to be quite smelly. I think they're going to go straight to the toilet. Yes, this is good. Oh, we close the door. Oh, we're running a little bit low. But that is okay. Could we build another tap? Oh, the dartboard. I found it. There we go. Oh, no. I'm so running out of money. <laughs> this is not good, not good. We have a couple of other things to do. Find the hidden coin. I probably need it, to be honest. I'm very poor right now. Hidden coin. Okay. I love hidden object games. <laughs> and things like that. But this is kind of tricky to find. Oh! Hello! You hear a dry, rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's rattlestick? But when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, fixing you with a baleful, undead stare. The skeleton's jaw creaks open slowly, the ghastly voice of death spilling forth. Cheers, mate. Dreadful chilly out. You open. <laughs> oh, um, is it? Yes, we're open. Many thanks, many thanks. <laughs> the name's Cuthbert. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. <laughs> Find the ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Hmm. Lifts the spirits, and I could use a bit of that. Yes, it looks like you can. Uh, something the matter. Oh, just having a bit of a <laughs> mid-death crisis, maybe. <laughs> Stuck in a rut. You serve the drink. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is, me art's not in the job anymore. Been starting to wonder, did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted or because it was expected of me? I could be missing out on a job I really love. Hmm. You can work here, work in my tavern. You should change things up. What do you want to do? I want a job where I can chat with people. <gasps> Something like what you do. Oh. Cuthbert sighs, the mournful sound coming from deep in his open ribcage in a way that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> he brings the mug up to his skull and taps the rim against his teeth. In the dungeon, it's always about blocking doors and doing spooky dances. Hardly anyone stops to talk before they knock my skull off with a big hammer. Hmm, that's sad. So why not go get a job like mine? Skeletons <laughs> give everybody the willies. Yeah. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeeps. Makes doing the groceries right difficult. <laughs> Cuthbert waves his finger bones in a vaguely dismissive gesture. Who would hire an employee that makes their customers squeamish? That's true, but I really want to hire this guy now. I would, if they were a hard worker. You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword Aww. and shield. The afterlife is too short to waste. Yes. Cuthbert slaps a palm against the counter. It makes a sound like a bowl of rocks being thrown at a wall. <laughs> You're a good sort. You know what? Next time you see me, I'll have an application for you. Boss. Yay! He gives a jerky nod and saunters away, whistling liplessly to himself through some mechanism you don't understand. That is so good. I would 100% hire Cuthbert. I'll even fire somebody else to get him here at my tavern. The cat's whiskers. <laughs> oh. oh, that is so good. I'm so glad. He's wonderful. Oh, gosh, I've run out. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Quick, refill it. Oh, it looks like the daytime is coming to an end. 
Yes, it's night time right nice now. My skeleton is looking for a new job by now. You should check the new applicants. Maybe he'd like to work here. Yes. There he is. Oh, that's wonderful. Always smiling. Enthusiastic dogs make him nervous. <laughs> Yes. As a skeleton, some patrons might find Cuthbert a little frightening. Also, he hardly sleeps, but no one's perfect. He is In wonderful. Fact, when he was alive, he... Oh, never mind. Let's save that story for the full game. Carry on. Oh, he's got a hidden secret past. Okay, Cuthbert, what have you been up to? I love that. Oh, it's storming. That is so gorgeous. I love it. Oh. oh, that's nice. 85% satisfied. Oh, have I found the coin? Mm. Look. Bullseye. Yay. <laughs> good. That is so good. Can I fire people? I would like to fire him. He's messy. And he's asleep. Riley's reaction to critical unhappiness is to eat a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I get that. Kick out. Go. Sorry, buddy. Just leave. <laughs> oh, he's not going to be happy. But I have Cuthbert. I love Cuthbert. He's the best. Okay, it looks like there's no one really here at 3 a.m., so... Maybe we should fast forward a bit until... There we go, it's daytime. Why aren't people here getting drunk? <laughs> okay, so how do we gain a star? Can you get your tavern up to a one star rating? Oh, there we go. Drinks rated one star. How do I get a better rated drink? Your tavern provides different services at varying star levels. Oh, the merchant has arrived. No time. I need to get lots and lots of stuff. So let's purchase. Thank you very much. What about if we install another tap, perhaps? Oh, we don't even have, we don't have the money. <laughs> We're very poor. We've only got 19 coins. This is terrible. I think I just need to have more patrons visit and get our drinks uh, rated a little bit better. Drinks. Reputation 92%. Have at least two drinks. Oh, right. So when we get 60 coins, I'll be able to install a second tap and hopefully that's going to work. Okay, no one's here just yet. Oh, here they are. Yes. Come and get drunk. Do you like your beautiful <laughs> table? It's decorated so perfectly, isn't it? Ooh. Wild. <gasps> oh! My coins, my coins. Can I put it over there in the corner? Yes, I can actually. Let's assign a drink. <laughs> Mud Wiser. <laughs> a one star rating already? <laughs> You're a natural. Click on the message on the right to claim it. Thank you. Yay. Oh. Is that Cuthbert? <laughs> What's that? Oh. What an unusual way to deliver my star. Go ahead. Look. A star. Gain your first tavern star. That is amazing. Fun. Makes you want another one, doesn't it? Yes. How do I get more? So in the full game, earning your first star will unlock the new room types such as the kitchen, new challenges and advance the campaign. That is so good. 100 gold and a few new furniture options as our little reward. Thank you very much. That is so, so cool. So we have seven new unlocks, a comfy chair, storage shelf, dead tree shelves, crocodile skin mat, lantern, work schedule. Who wants that? A locker. Thank you. 
Oh no, I've just found the chair. It's not available in the demo, unfortunately. That is so sad. But maybe I can just do a little bit more decorating. I did find something really cute, the incense bowl. So I would like to get a little table. Let me pop that there with the little incense bowl on it. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I absolutely adore this. I love this so much. Candles. Oh, yes. I mean, it's a slight fire hazard, but I can't say no to a candle. I love them. Now that is romantic. You know, I can just see that my tavern is going to be cluttered. Completely and utterly cluttered. Oh, wait, I just found more stuff to pick from. <laughs> we have some decorative things. Oh, right. There's the comfy chair. Yes. I'll put that over there. That is nice. Get another table. Oh dear. I think I'm running out of money. I get too excited. Oh, the little stove. That would be beautiful and so comfy in winter. Okay. I, I need to stop until I get more money. It's really, really, really addictive. Uh-oh. 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 I can't stand to see them so angry for so long, so I'll just fast forward until they're happy. Okay. So you definitely need to keep an eye on your stock as well. Make sure it's not running out. So that is getting a little bit low. Okay, I do think it's night time. Everyone's gone. What do my people do at night? They're just passing time. I would love to. Oh, assign bed. I can assign you a bed as well. Oh, that's good. Going to bed. Oh, I'm so happy. That is great. Give bonus. <laughs> yes, he can have a bonus. I love him. <laughs> okay, we'll fast forward. You know what? Maybe I should actually check and see if we can get a new bed. Bed. Absolutely amazing. Now they both have beds. Assign bed. There you go. Why aren't you going to bed? I want him to sleep. Oh, we have a new newspaper. Hear ye, hear ye. The Bayou Chronicle. The boy who lived a double life. Oh, the price of this is one soul? What happened? I don't want to read this. A fragment of a warlock's soul was found in the possession of a young boy, cleverly hi hidden under a scar. The boy has been taken into custody and, should the warlock press charges, will be charged with identity theft. His parents could not be reached for comment. I don't think I want to read that newspaper anymore. It sounds a bit dodgy. All right, where's our next customers? Oh. oh, they're just having a chat. They seem very, very happy. I love it here at the cat's whiskers. Oh, we've run out. I'll get straight on to that this time. Oh, he's scaring people. I'm so sorry. Cuthbert is sweet. He would never hurt anyone. Don't be frightened. She's playing some darts. With um, non-standard issue darts, I'm afraid. She got a bullseye. Nice aim. Valerie has dirty feet. 100% dirty. Oh, and Diana is cleaning. That's good. <laughs> oh, Valerie. Dirty, dirty. 
She has a weak bladder, Irene. And also dirty feet. And they're just calling out her very personal issues. Not nice, is it? Oh, we have a new storybook? Where? Bad weather on the way. Feel it in my bad oh, leg. No. Right here in the joint. Ever since that goblin injured it. The old timer leans heavily on the back of a chair and rubs his knobby knee, grimacing out the window at the mild day outside. Mm. Sure, he apologized right there on the dance floor for dropping me mid twirl. Even bought me a candy apple after. Sweet feller. Still, legs never been the same since. You feel that in the air, young'un? That's the storm. No, don't wreck my tavern. Feels like rain. So you can feel it too, eh? Right you are. That rain's coming down before the day is out. Sure is shuffling. He sniffs, massaging his knee. Mm. Ah, well, nothing wrong with a bit of rain. Good for remembering. If it's only a little bit of rain, but now that's got me very nervous. Storms are coming. Rain. Mm. When it rains, patrons will get wet and might want a place to dry themselves. They will also track mud into your tavern. Oh. They're just going to make a huge mess, aren't they? Okay, well, let's put down uh, another table. Ooh. That looks nice there, actually. Let's add a little bit of uh, decorations. That might be pretty. Uh, something like that. Just... Easy, easy going, simple. Oh, that's cute. A lavender bundle that will mask the stench. Perfect. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. We are absolutely running out of stock. I can see that the merchant arrives in 10 hours. So we're going to need him desperately. Oh, I like this. What are you up to, Cuthbert? Taking a break. <laughs> You're scratching your bottom. Well, what should be your bottom? There's nothing quite there, is there? Here, boss, I think we've got some new applicants. Oh, no. I like who I've got. All right, let's grab that guy. All right, you can work here. We do need more people to mop up the floor, so... He might be able to do something like that. The merchant. We need a lot of things. Oh, Imperial Red. Spoils twice as fast. Uh-oh. Better with age. Okay, let's get everything. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Are you mopping? Please start the mopping. It's filthy. Sadly, we are getting down to our final two hours remaining of the demo. And there is no way that I want this to finish. I am already obsessed. I love it so much. But... Hear ye, hear ye, we have a new Bayou Chronicle for today. Wizards College in Hot Water. The Wizards College seeks to overturn the Educators Guild decision to strip them of their accreditation. When approached for comment, the Educators Guild representative responded, Sure, their graduates can lodge a sword in a stone, but they don't know basic maths. <laughs> oh no, I don't want this to finish. I just want to play this forever. A shame we can't keep oh. on playing forever. But this is just a demo. No. How should we end things? We shouldn't. We just I'll shouldn't. Leave it up to you. Here, a nice shiny button. Ooh. Press it to end things with a bang, or let the timer run out and leave your tavern to putter along after you go. What? It certainly is a tempting button, no? Yes! The suspense is simply dreadful. It really is! What should I do? Blow up the tavern? 
Oh, I am so tempted. You're showing incredible restraint. <laughs> I bet that clicking finger is simply itch. Yes, I think I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, Cuthbert. I love you. But I think I'm going to blow it up. I'm just waiting on that timer to go down. No one will know. Just little old me. Oh, I think a few people will know. Okay, let's do it. Are you sure? We're almost out of time. Burden resist, hmm? I see that for you, the joy of creation has a darker twin. The thrill of destruction. I'll keep that in mind when you join me for the full story. Oh, no. Thanks for playing the Tavern Keeper demo. I've had ever so much fun. Same. It's been incredible. Wow, I love that so much. <laughs> that is incredible. Absolutely loved that. <laughs> that was so fun. There were so many things I loved about this demo. I loved the storybooks. When you get a customer coming in, you can talk to them and your choices actually change their dialogue and what they're going to say and your interactions with them. I love that so many things seem to have so much personality. The people that you hire, your customers, random events, it's just so, so good. And I can see this game becoming something that I sink a lot of time into and I'm not even embarrassed or sorry. I love games like this. Management style, simulator type games are one of my favorite, favorite games to play. But also this one has something additional that just suits me so well. And it also feels sort of cozy and comfy and wholesome. And the sense of humor is really quirky, unusual, and a little bit out there, which also makes it even more perfect for me. I loved it so much. <laughs> I just cannot wait to play the full game. I definitely recommend you guys check out this game when it comes out. I really think that you will enjoy it as well. So much fun. Thank you all so much for watching this demo of Tavern Keeper. I am so excited to play the full thing. Bring it on. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.